So today is Wednesday, September the 12th. I'm actually headed to the gym this morning. I wanted to come to you guys because I wanted to start vlogging what I eat in a day on keto or what I eat in a week on keto vlog. I'm not sure if it's going to be daily or weekly just yet, but if you're watching this video, you can tell by the title um, that it's either a daily or a weekly vlog. But I've decided to put myself on a six week challenge to lose 30 pounds doing keto and just working out. Today is day five for me so today is day five out of um six weeks and i'm already down how much am i down i'm already down seven pounds yes i'm already down seven pounds now of course a lot of that may be water weight because i am just getting back on keto so your first week back on keto you're going to lose quite a bit of weight so i think that's what's going on with me i just think it's water weight that i'm losing but i'm already down seven pounds and five days so that's really good uh, basically that's what i'm doing i'm vlogging what i'm eating in a day sort of what i'm doing throughout the day to lose weight. i will come back with my lunch for the day when i eat now normally i try to eat at around 3 p.m because i do intermittent fasting um, i try to wait until 3 p.m to eat sometimes 5 p.m if i can push it so when i eat my first meal of the day i'll come back to you guys Hey ladies, so it's a little later in the afternoon. It's about 12, 19 right now. Hakeem and I are out to get some lunch. I know I said I wasn't going to eat today until like um, three or five, but for some reason, we're both really hungry. Hakeem doesn't, he's not fasting, but he normally eats when I eat. So we're eating a little earlier today. I didn't eat yet, but I worked out earlier this morning as y'all saw. Um, I basically just walked uh, like two miles. It was a really short workout. Um, when I came back home, I jump roped a little bit and then I also jump rope before I went to work out. So, or before I went to the park to walk. So I did some cardio today. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet all day. Um, I did drink a bottle of water after I worked out. Last night, I believe I, my last meal was at around 8.30. So right now it's 12, so that's about 16 hours. Is that 16 hours? Let's see, if I ate last night around 8.30, I'll probably eat today around 12.30. By the time I get home, it'll be like 12.30 maybe. So, I'm sorry. On keto, I don't know if they tell you, but on keto, you're like really, I, I get like burpy. Good. So for today, my fasting would have only been for 16 hours, but normally I try to eat like after three five if I can so I've been fasting for 16 hours so I have Chipotle so I get a bowl you guys with half steak half chicken calculate the macros out for you guys so I can tell you exactly how many grams of fat protein carbs and calories are in my lunch for so you guys here's the bowl from Chipotle that I was telling you about it's half steak half chicken I have lettuce in here um, guacamole, sour cream, and cheese. I also have the salsa on the side because the tomatoes um, do count towards your carbs on keto. So I like to limit how many I put in there so I can kind of control the amount of carbs that I'm eating. But for the entire bowl here, it has about 55 grams of fat. Um, it has about 55 grams of fat, I believe about 60 grams of protein, and then it also has five grams of net carbs in it. So I don't eat the entire bowl, so I probably have about maybe two and a half carbs, maybe three carbs for the um, for my first meal of the day, and it is the later. I waited a little to eat, so it's about 108 in the afternoon, so that gave me about 17 hours of fasting. And I'll come back to see you guys for my next meal. So hey you guys, it's a little later in the evening. It's almost 7 p.m. And I'm coming back to have a snack. My snack for today is going to be the Blue Diamond Almond. If I'm a little hungry and I want to hold myself over until dinner, I'll just eat like some almonds. So I'll eat about 14 of these. We'll have half the serving amount so in order to calculate the net carb amount which sort of gives you a way to consume more carbs on keto uh, in a way but not really this being 
six carbs. You will subtract the fiber, the amount of fiber, which is three, and it will leave you with a net amount. So it leaves you with a net amount of three carbs. That's if you were to eat the entire um, serving, which is 28 nuts. Now being that I'm only eating 14 nuts, my carbs for this would only be about one and a half. So I'm only eating about two carbs for my snack. Still pretty low, you guys know. Um, I showed you what I had left over from my Chipotle bowl. So I had about, I wanna say like a fourth of the bowl remaining. So really for my carbs today, I'm really low, I'm really, really low. So really for dinner, I don't have to eat chicken. I can actually eat something that has a little bit more carbs with it. But I may keep it low today because tomorrow I may want to splurge a little. Now I do want to just mention something with keto. Just as I watch different videos, I see a lot of people in the comments, um, not my videos, but like other keto videos. A lot of people like to say, oh, people make keto look so easy. Keto is not easy, you guys. It's really restrictive. Like It's really, really restrictive to what you can eat. I've never been, since I've been on keto, I haven't been the type to go out and try, try to eat different keto foods. Like I haven't made any fat bombs. I haven't made any keto pancakes. I haven't tried to make any keto bread. I haven't really tried to substitute any items um, for keto approved items. I've just really kept it really, really basic. So for me, I guess that's why it has been a little restrictive. Now that I'm vlogging what I'm eating, um, I do want to try different items such as like keto pancakes or like keto bagels. So if I do decide to try those items, I'll make sure to vlog it so we can try it together. But for the most part, keto is restrictive for me. Every meal that I eat isn't a meal that's going to be like savory. It's not really going to be a meal that I'm looking forward to. I'm more so eating to fuel my body to get the fat in that I need to keep me feeling full. But I'm about to go eat those almonds and when I make dinner, I'll come back to um, show you guys what I'm having and to close out the vlog. See you. Hey guys, so it's about um, 8 o'clock right now. I'm cooking dinner. It's going to be hot wings. I was going to do like lemon pepper hot wings, but I'm out of lemon pepper seasoning and I don't have as much butter as I thought that I um, had because I need a lot of butter to like um, kind of grease the pan and then butter for the sauce itself so I'm just gonna do regular baked chicken drumettes in the yeah, these are the seasons I'll be using black pepper seasoned salt garlic powder I may toss some hot sauce in with them while they bake I'll toss the wings in a hot sauce and butter mixture once they're done in the oven and then dip them in ranch dressing so I'm going to go ahead and cook these in the oven. My fasting hours for the day are totally off, but I'm still trying to keep on track and eat healthy. This is going to be the last meal of the day. If I get hungry, I actually have sugar-free jello, so let me show you guys actually the jello that I eat. Hey you guys, so this is how the um, chicken drumettes look before they go in the oven. Now these are oven baked hot wings, so I had to like do my take on hot wings so that they can come out as good as they come out uh, when they're fried. So we're not frying these, these are going to be baked in the oven. Now I did grease the pan with the Kerrygold butter at the bottom, so each side, I'll actually flip, flip the wings so each side will get a chance to like bake in the butter. That's going to help them to crisp up on the outside. And then like I said, afterwards I'm going to toss them in just a um, hot sauce and butter. A hot sauce and butter type of sauce or whatever to coat them and I'll, talk, I'll throw them like in the oven for a little bit more to bake in with that sauce and you have like the perfect hot wings. Perfect oven baked hot wings doing it that way. So. This is dinner. It's only 10 drumettes. Um, dinner's going to be light because I told you guys earlier I had too much protein with my Chipotle meal. So I'm only going to eat five of these wings and the other five are going to be for I came. So I will come back um, once I'm finished cooking the food to show you and then I'll calculate my total macros for the day so we can see how much fat, carbs, and protein and calories I consume. Okay, you guys. So here are the um, 10 wings finished. Well, actually, they're just finished baking, so I just have them in a bowl so that I can toss around my sauce in it. Now, this sauce is pretty simple, you guys. It's really just Kerrygold butter and hot sauce. You can see the butter kind of separated from the hot sauce, which is good. We want this butter. This is what you want. You need this butter on. You need this fat on keto, so 
This is only about two and a half tablespoons of butter, and then the rest is um, the rest is the hot sauce. So I'm gonna just pour this over the wings. So this is like my own little quick hot sauce Ooh. or wing sauce, and then I'm going to cover it, toss them up, and I put them back in the oven because I like my wings cook really hard, you guys. So. After I toss these up, I'm gonna put them back in the oven and that's going to be dinner. So this is how the wings look once they're tossed in the sauce. I have a little bit of sauce left, so I'm just gonna like drizzle it over the breast. Now you can totally um, just eat the wings from here. You don't have to place them back in the oven. Like if you like wet wings, like this would be good. But I like mine kind of cooked in, so I'm gonna put them back in the oven for maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes on like 300 degrees. Again, just so it can sort of cook in there. Okay, you guys, so I wanted to come and do a final calculation for my macros on what I ate today. As you can see, I used my fitness pal once. Let me show you how to actually get to this screen. So if you don't know, yeah, let me actually start at my diary page. So as you can see, the log is on today. It's 9.41 p.m. It's a closer look at my actual macros or calories that I'm allowed. Each day I have a calorie limit of 1,284 calories. Um, so far today, um, I've tracked all my food for the day and it adds up to about 1,192 calories. I worked out a little bit. I tracked some of it here. So I'm sort of, um, I have a little bit more calories to use for the day, but I never really use the calories that I earn from working out. So I really only um, eat up to 1,284 calories. So today I have 1,192 that I've logged. So as you can see, I didn't eat breakfast, so that's blank. For lunch, I had the Chipotle bowl. I logged it as about three fourths of the bowl. So that was 608 calories. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I have my chicken drumettes baked here. So that gives me about 275 calories for those. The two tablespoons of French dressing, which is 120 calories. And then about a tablespoon of butter, which is 100 calories. Now mind you, even though I made 10 wings and I used about um, two tablespoons of butter, I am splitting these wings with Hakeem. So again, those servings will cut in half for me. So you want to make sure you're tracking your food so you can keep up with the exact numbers. And then for my snacks here, you guys, I have the whole natural flavor almonds that I ate. Those were 80 calories. And then my sugar-free Jello, uh, which is only 10 calories. Okay, so from the diary page, in order to access your macro screen, you're gonna click on nutrition down at the bottom. And then at the top, you want to click on macros. And then here, it actually give you a breakdown and the percentage of your foods for the day. So when we talk about eating, um, say 70% fat, 20% protein, 5% carbs. This is the actual chart that it'll break down for you. So you can see I went a little bit over on protein and I went a little bit under on fats, but I'm pretty much dead on for carbs. But here's a little trick. As you can see, my carbs for the day were 15 grams. Fat, I had 88 grams. And then protein was 76 grams. Now for carbohydrates, even though I said I had 15 grams, I actually had less than that. Because if you calculate the fiber, or if you calculate the net carbs for the day, so I had 16, eight grams of fiber from the 16 grams of carbs, I have a total of eight net carbs for the day. So on the macro screen, it doesn't calculate out your um, net carbs for you so you'll want to make sure to do that but you can see today was pretty much almost perfect so today was a really good keto day I'm excited to see how much I lost in the morning I will upload that on my next video if I decide to do like a daily vlog or if not you'll see it in the next clip how much I lost from today but this is basically keto for today I know it was really simple but again you guys keto doesn't have to be super hard you can use what you have in your kitchen you really don't have to go out and buy all these extra items while they are nice, you don't have to do it. So I hope you guys like this realistic what I eat in a day keto vlog. Thumbs up for more videos like this. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. And until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye.